Okay, welcome back to the BSN channel. Today I'm going to do a 50 questions tag. I'm going to try and go through them as quick as I can. I'm reading them on the computer. Uh, sorry about the shake. That's my knee. I try and go through this as quick as I can. I don't know how quick I can do this. But let's begin. So, were you named after anyone? Um, my first name, well, my Ghanaian name, yeah, I was, I was named after Saturday, after my grandma, many various people. My first name, which uh, in this country, which is Charlie. Yeah, my dad said I was named after his nickname for a car. Thanks, Dad. When, uh, when was the last time you cried? Last year. Do you like your handwriting? Yes. Not a lot of people like my handwriting. They say it's too big. Do you, um, what is your favorite lunch meat? What the hell's that? I, I don't know what that is. What's a lunch meat? Is it a type of ham? I'm not a big fan of ham, but like, if you're gonna say lunch meat, my preferably I would want fried chicken. But if I don't, if we're talking about ham, I like salami. Uh, more more Danish. I like Danish salami. Uh, what else? Do you have kids? No. If you were another person, would you be friends with you? No. <laughs> I wouldn't be friends with myself. Do you use sarcasm a lot? All the time. All the time. Do you still have your tonsils? Yes, I do. Would you bungee jump? Back in the day, I would have, but now I wouldn't. But if someone put a gun to my head and said, "Like I'm gonna shoot you if you don't do it," I'd be like, no, I'll, "I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm not scared to do it." But I, just, I don't want to have a heart attack whilst I do it. That's I'm not scared of heights. I don't know. Depends, man. It depends. What's your favorite cereal? I hate cereal. <laughs> I hate cereal. Like it's just sugar with milk, which is more sugar. I'm not feeling that. I'd rather have bread, toast and stuff. But alright, when I was young, I did like cereal. But we, could, we couldn't afford it all the time, so... I don't know, Weetos, Cocoa Pops. But now, f for the last eight years, I don't eat cereal. Do you untie your shoes when you take them off? No. Do you think you are strong? Yeah. So so. I don't think I'm the strongest, but I think I'm strong. What is your favorite ice cream? I don't like ice cream. <laughs> I don't mind ice cream, but it's just not anything that's chocolate. Like when I was young, yeah, I like anything with chocolate. So I'd say chocolate, but right now I don't like ice cream. Um what is the first thing you notice about people? Man, why? What, what's with the deep questions? I got to number 14 and then you're asking a deep question like that. What is the first thing you notice about people? That we have different opinions. Um, whether you're being real or fake. Yeah. Red or pink? I don't like any of those colors, but obviously red. What is the least favorite thing about yourself? <laughs> what is this, some therapy session? I don't know. What's the least favorite thing about myself? Ah. Uh. I'm not that social. I'm not. I'm very anti-social. I don't like being around people. I like people, but I don't. I spend a lot of time on my own. So that's that's probably. Yeah. To be honest, that's the first time I've actually thought that. Who do you miss the most? My grandma, who died when I was about eleven. But who do I miss? The, I don't know. I mean. 
that's the only one I can think of. I didn't really know her that well, but I miss her the most. Um, there's a lot of people I miss. Anyone that's died in my life, you know, friends who have died in the past. Yeah, I miss them. The people who died, I miss them. What is the spark feature that has helped you the most? I don't know. I have to pass on that one. What color shoes are you wearing? I'm not, I'm not wearing shoes. <laughs> but I always wear black. What was the last thing you ate? Bruh. I can't believe it. Last thing I ate was a burger. Yeah, usually I'd like to say fufu, yeah, but I can't. Like, I had a burger. Like, it's been a while since I've had a burger. I just, you know, I've got my own money. I might as well get a burger. Uh, what color sh uh, no, no, I've said that already. What are you listening to right now? What, you mean like on my phone? Or something? Uh, the tune I'm banging out is a freestyle by Dot Rotten on JDZ Media. It's too much. Obviously, you know, grime is coming back, so I listen to a lot of grime because I'm from London. Yeah, that's what I'm that's on repeat. Oh, I listen to P Money, Pepper Red. That is hard. I know. Um, if you were a crayon, what color would you be? I don't answer questions like that. I'm not a crayon. I would never be a crayon. Like, I don't care. Favorite smells. <sighs> oh, I actually, I do. The smell of soup. You know, like some nice light soup with some nama nama, like some some goat stomach in there, some pig foot, some yeah goat. You need goat in general, yeah. Waking up on a Sunday, morning, you know you've had a heavy night before, and you wake up, yeah. That's what I like. All right, who was the last person you you spoke to on the phone? Oh, one of my friends. I don't want to like just say his name. You know, I respect people's privacy. Mountain hideaway or beach house? Beach house. Man, you know. What the hell? Favorite sports to watch? I'm not a big sports guy, but I love boxing. That 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 I can actually sit down and watch boxing. Cause I used to do boxing when I was young. I stopped when I was about twenty, so that was about four years ago. I stopped doing boxing. Probably why I put on, put on so much weight. <laughs> but I still got a bit of, you know, I got a little bit of it there. So I, I, I love I love boxing. I can sit down and watch that. That's the only sport I can watch. Hair colour, dark brown. Eye colour, dark brown. Do you wear contacts? No. But I wear glasses. Favourite food? Fufu and soup. Fufu and soup. Fufu, fufu, fufu and soup. Last but not least, fried chicken. <laughs> Fried chicken, fried chicken. Anyway, scary movies or happy endings? <sighs> Alright, scary movies. I don't like happy endings all the time. Not everything's happy. Like, the son doesn't always return but back to the parents. Sometimes the son just dies. You know the ones that? Like, he just dies. Last movie you watched. You know what? I'm going to be real with you here. Yeah? I ain't watched a movie in about one, two years, a year or two. I don't watch movies. The last movie I watched, I don't actually know the name of it. I was at a friend's house and he just happened to be watching it. I don't watch movies, you know, I'd rather read a book, a story. You know, as I've grown up, I just, I can just tell, it's just so predictable, a lot of these stories now, on um, movies. You, they, they follow a certain formula. Like, they have a, a setting, and then there's like a, a trigger, and then you go on a certain quest, and then surprise, and then, and then something happens, and then they've got to sort it out and bring it back to normal. But the weird thing is, things go back to normal. Except some scary films, where nothing goes back to normal. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. What colour shirt are you wearing? Yellow, blue, white, and you got the the green Rafi right there. 
Um, uh, summer or winter? Um, gee, that's a hard one. I mean, summer for like, I like you know what both of them. I like them individually. I like winter because it gets dark quicker. I like summer because it doesn't get dark quicker. It's weird. I actually enjoy both of them. I can't pick them. Hugs or kisses? I don't like any of them. I don't like hugging or kissing, but like I'm a real antisocial guy. I'll hug in it. Like girls like to hug all the time. Like, oh, hello, the hug. I'm just like, okay. I'd rather just shake your hand. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, in certain in in different situations, yeah, I do want to hug. For different reasons, you know, but I'm not gonna get into that. I, I don't like hugs or kisses. I'm gonna be real. I, I do not like kissing at all. I don't like kissing. I mean, obviously I've kissed my girlfriends in the past, and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I remember I was kissing one girl in the past year. Um, we was getting she was getting deep into it. Yeah, that's what I can say. And she might, <laughs> or maybe laugh. Yeah, she must have she saw that my eyes were open. And she was like, why Why is your eyes open? I was like, oh, no, no, I'm just weird like that. Like, I just like watching you as I'm kissing. <laughs> but really, I was just, my eyes were open because I could taste what's in her mouth. And I'm like, I don't like kissing. I like other things. I don't like kissing, though. Favorite dessert. I'm not into sugar like that, you know. I don't have one. Like, I don't. Favorite dessert would probably just be... A juice drink, like just give me a juice so I can just like orange juice or pineapple juice. I like that. Strength training or cardio. Strength training, computer or television. Computer. What book are you reading right now? Uh, Forty eight laws of power, but I've read it before. I'm just I just like reading it. Um, what is on your mouse pad? Acer. Um, any tattoos? Nah, never that. Nah, not feeling tattoos at all. Favourite sound? What? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't have a favourite. What's a favourite sound? I don't know, like, um, grime instrumentals? Rap? I don't know, that's a weird question. Rolling Stones or Beatles? Not feeling either of them. I don't listen to that music. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'll say Rolling Stones because I thought the Beatles were... You know, if I was born in that era, I don't think I would have been listening to the Beatles. I'd probably be listening to the Rolling Stones. So I'll say the Rolling Stones. What is the furthest you have been from your home in 2013? Oh right, this is an old, <laughs> this is an old list I got. Nah, so let's say two thousand and fifteen. Damn, this is embarrassing. North London. <laughs> That's only like less than twenty miles away, but yeah, I've been busy. I got you know, I don't have time to travel. Do you have a special talent? I don't. I don't have a special talent. Like, I can't say I've got a special talent. Like, I'm good at cooking. And you know, you know, there's a couple things that I'm good at that I you know, I haven't really mentioned. You know, for years, since the age of like twelve, I wrote poetry very seriously. I still write poetry, which kind of relates to my, you know, writing rap lyrics as well. I write a lot of rap lyrics. A lot. Like, it's what I like to do. Um, when I was young, from the age of about four, I read maps. That's all I did, like, street maps when I was young. I just loved reading that, Bef even before books. I, I didn't like storybooks. I just liked encyclopedias and factual books, like maps. Like, I love maps. And I, I have this sort of thing when, when I'm outside, I have a compass in my head. So if I get lost, I know what direction I'm going in. It's, it's a bit mad. Like when I'm driving and I'm, I'm in the car, preferably a female, 
they might mess up the directions. It's not always females, males mess it up. And they'd be like, oh, you're lost, we're lost. I'm like, listen, we are lost, but I know what direction we're going in. And they don't understand what I mean by that. Anyways, where were you born? I was born in um, King's College Hospital in Camberwell, South East London. Um, where are you living now? Still living in South London. What colour is your house? It's white. <laughs> and brown-ish roof. What colour, um, what colour is your car? I don't own a car. Um, you might see me driving. That's not my car. That's my mum's car. And I don't drive it because I want to. I don't, I don't actually like driving. I only drive when I'm bringing my mum somewhere. Like my mum prefers me to drive. Because really I'm a better driver. Just being real. <laughs> I'm a better driver than her. She's a bit aggressive on the road. So yeah, apart from that, I do not touch the car. So if people are thinking, Oh, you're driving your mum's car all the time. Nope. It's only local. I don't go on outings. When, when, my, when my friends try and say, Oh, why don't you use your mum's car? not on that it's not my car I don't like driving anyway any pets uh, no I'm not into pets I don't want to have a dog in the house it will sting the house I wouldn't want to have a cat I wouldn't mind having a fox no fox you know what I'd like to have a goat but I'll probably just slaughter it and just make some you know a punching crack crack you know I'm just being real yeah, I'd like to get a goat, to be honest. That's the last question. Sorry about some of the stupid questions that you might have heard. Um, I'm going to leave this here. Pretty sure there's... Let me see if there's any more questions. Quickly. Alright. Favourite board game. Um... Yeah, Monopoly. Favourite magazine. <laughs> I can't say that one there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, last mu you know, I've already said that. I've already said that. Favourite fast food place. Favourites. Morley's Chicken. Now, just any chicken place, to be honest. Future child's name. Michael. If it's a boy, it has to be Michael. Like, that's, that's my brother's name. It's also my uncle's name. And... And also, you know, another person's name. So, it has to be Michael. Uh, do you drive fast? No, I do not drive fast at all. Like, I drive like an old man. Ask my friends, ask my mum. Storms, do you find them cool or scary? Cool, that's a weird question. Like, Favourite drink? I mean, if it's on a cheap level, Sun Pride. And any juice drink. Alright, finish the, the statement. If I had time, I would... I don't know. I don't regret anything. Anything that I have regretted, I've learned not to regret. Obviously, I'd like to be 18 again. And do things accordingly. Do you eat stems on broccoli? Yes, I do. Name all the different city towns you've lived in. That's easy. London. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've lived in Accra for a while. I've lived in Kamasi. Yeah. Favourite sports to watch? Uh, I've already said that before. What's under your bed? Full of my mum's stuff. Like She just uses the, uh, the bottom of my bed as storage. Yeah. Okay. If you're West African, you should know what I mean. I'm not saying all West Africans are like this yet, but like specifically with the females... There's something about the bedroom everywhere is used as like storage. It's crazy. You go into one of my wardrobe, half, half the stuff is not mine. It's just like when I was young, yeah, we, we used to have a sewing machine in my kitchen. We lived in a small flat in Brixton, yeah. We had a sewing machine. It wasn't used. When I was young, I never saw it used. I was like, Mum, has this been here older? Is this thing older than me? And she said, Yeah, it's been here before you was. But why is it still here? Remove it. Oh no, I might need it one day. 
she never used it. She threw it away. Many years later. Uh, favorite pie. I'm not into sweet stuff, but as you said, pie, steak, and onion. Morning person or night owl? Definitely a night owl. It's it's late right now, so yeah. Would you like to be born as yourself again? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like to be myself again. Uh, let me see. Do you sleep with a stuffed animal? No, but when I was young, I used to sleep. When I was really young, yeah, I used to sleep with Dennis the Menace toy and his dog Nasha. That was my favorite toys, like for real. I couldn't live without this toy. <laughs> when I look back, yeah, it was so stupid. But when I was young, it it was just it was weird. I I, I couldn't sleep without them. Worst feeling in the world. Knowing that one of your friends is a snake and they just keep slivering, thinking that. Thinking that you don't know. But I do know, I'm just letting them know. I'm just not letting them know that I know. I, 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 that's the worst feeling in the world, knowing that someone's a snake. And instead of just being a snake, well, he's a snake because he's pretending to be nice, but he's not nice. I don't like people like that. That's the worst feeling, knowing that someone's being fake to get something off you. That really gets on my nerves. Anyway, it's, the video's getting a bit long, so I'm going to leave it here. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, please like. If you dislike, feel free to dislike. If you haven't already, please subscribe. God bless. And... Uh, Good luck to the atheists. Peace.